Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome back to GeoGuessr. I'm sorry, this one's going to go up a little bit late today. What the fuck is that? Those numbers are European. Uh, it looks like we are on the left hand side of the road against some water. Things appear to be in English and they appear to be kilometers per hour. Uh, I'm gonna say Ireland or England. I don't know why. Road liable to subside? I mean, don't get me wrong, it could be Australia, it could be New Zealand, but something, something about this, man, it just feels British to me. Uh, Ireland is a good guess, too. Uh, it looks like we have, like, a, a city, town thing coming up. Oh, that sign might have actually told us what this place is. I'm gonna actually give it away. Welcome to Glenarm. Yeah. It's not going to give away much. Um, let's see if we can't find a flag first and foremost. There was a sign back here. I'm going to go read this. I should have read this originally. Glenarm. Glenarm. That totally helps us. I mean... This kind of reminds me of Ireland. I don't know why. It just reminds me of Ireland. Now, obviously, Ireland and England are pretty close together. Then we got Scotland and Wales, which really... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, Carnlow? Does this boss have anything on it? I could give it away... Fall in love over and over and over again. No thanks, that sounds painful. Uh, call 02890666 or click translink.co. Translink. We're not gonna know. Fuck. Damn it. That would have been it. That would have been it. Ooh, and, ah, uh, whatever. UK, that is. And, it's actually Northern Ireland. <laughs> Not bad. Carlo and Glenarm. Maybe that's why we don't know it, because we don't know Northern Ireland very well. It was Ireland, though, and it was over in, somewhere in the UK, so, I mean, well, there's an 80-kilometer sign. Uh... Ark Colin? We're not going to get anything off that truck. Uh, since we're in kilometers and it, it could be Canada, we are on the right hand side of the road and it does. Fuck, sorry about that. It does look like there's a yellow divider line in the middle and then we find out what the sign says. Okaska. Oksakoski. I mean, it could be Canada. We're on the right-hand side of the road, yellow divider line. We could also be in a Nordic country, I believe. I don't really necessarily know. I mean, I'm sure we'll see a Swedish flag if we're in Sweden. And this is the perfect place for it. It's a flagpole. Nothing. I mean, I guess we just keep going, right? It looks like there's another sign coming up. This could help us out. I don't see any flags still. That's not a sign. That's a house. Okay. We're stupid. Um, so now we're stuck between Canada or Nordic country. And I'm, I'm probably leaning more towards Canada. I don't know why. It just, it feels more like Canada. I mean, it, obviously, we have a long way to go. We need to find another sign. We need to see if we can find another piece of the alphabet. That's just going to give it away. I think it was a school zone. So let's go back to it. See exactly what it says. Peroja. That's not Canadian. Uh, maybe Finland. Yo. 146.2 miles. 4270. Not bad. We're already above average. And we're on to the third round. There's a sign over here. And I'm guessing Ukraine. Or Russia. 
You ready? You ready? Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby. I don't even want to guess anymore. I am straight up gangster. Oh my god, 120 miles. Guys, we're doing great. 13,000 points. And here's where we lose. Damn it. Alright. Red dirt road in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere. With very cloudy skies. And it doesn't look like we're going to find anything that's going to give it away. Um, so our guesses as of right now are Australia. Maybe a little bit of New Zealand. But I think we're going to stick with the Australian. And at this point, probably go towards the southern tip over by Melbourne. Uh, we just saw a bike. They were on the right-hand side. Here's another bike. Or they just passed us and we're on the right. Yeah, they passed. No. They might have passed us. We might be going the wrong way. But that doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, I'm going to start practicing my British slang. Holy fucking shit. All right. Governo de Estado, Mato Grosso do Sol, Brazil. Done, done, done skis. All right, Brazil, we got you this time. Nice, one thousand miles, sixteen hundred points. So that was probably the worst one we got so far, and we are back, right hand side of the road, yellow divider line, somewhere in South America. It's not the United States, and it's most likely not Canada. So, it could be Brazil again, or it could just straight up be Mexico. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what the 99 is. I don't know. But it's definitely in Spanish. Argentina, maybe? I can't really read that. Is that Brazil right there? It's too blurry. Still too blurry. Something about energy. Clean energy, I think. I think that's what I was talking about. But we're definitely in a Spanish-speaking country. The Yellow Divider Line, which probably is Mexico through South America. And pretty much all of South America. Um, however, I think we've only really confirmed Brazil and Argentina have the Yellow Divider Line. But we don't really get the other ones too often. So, I, I could probably... That guy's shirtless. It's probably safe to assume at this point that we're in South America. I don't necessarily think Mexico. So maybe Argentina, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, this area. You know, it's just in half of the continent. No big deal. Lots of trucks. Now, if we could see what the trucks were hauling, that guy's shirtless too. If we could see what this truck was hauling, it might give us a good idea, right? Like, because if it's hauling wood, we could be like, okay, they're harvesting, you know, the rainforest or probably in Brazil. If it's full of cattle, we could be like, okay, they're probably not in a place where there's lots of wood. Let's go Chile or Peru. Is this... Are we going to pass this van? If this van is a rape van... Is the raper inside? I don't know what I'm saying. Ah, eh, fuck it. Should we just guess something? Just guess, right? Right? What's the worst that happens? We already broke average. Average today was 83.53. We're at 14,810. I haven't checked our individual average in a while, but at one point it was 13.5. So if it's still around the 13 to 14 range, then we're probably doing pretty good. Um, you know what? I'm just, I give up. Let's go, Argentina. And it's Brazil again, so 713 points, bringing our grand total to 15,523. Now, I do hope you all enjoyed watching this episode of GeoGuessr. Again, I'm going to apologize now for uh, posting late today. And I just, I slept in be completely honest but i do hope to see you all next time have a good rest of your day and bye bye